the musician, the Biafran hero musician of Guinea. Nigerian police, Nigerian police shot him. What was his offense? That could lead to his death. You carry bullet, you carry gun, and you shot him. You, you expect to go free. The hatred they have on every evil man is what is happening. What is the meaning of police? Why did I send police? What do we have police? What is police for? What is the duty of, of police? Is it not to protect life and to protect pro uh, 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 properties? Is it not the duty of police? But now Nigerian police are now taking lives. Especially the life of Igbo people, Igbo man. Um, on the 29th, is a compulsory lockdown with uh, Enugu State. What can I say to this? Is this not uh, is this not lockdown becoming unbearable for the people of Enugu and South East? Listen and listen good. Again, eh, music, again, eh, songs is something that generally recognized in Igbo land. In Biafra land. Are you getting it? Although mostly, most people that are focusing on that is the, the, the Enugu urban uh, state as is mostly, you know, it, it, is that talking stick with a, a, a kind of a, a, a iron method together to form that uh, uh, this organic. So now this young man, the musician, the Biafran hero musician Ogene, Nigerian police, Nigerian police shot him. What was his offense? That could lead to his death. You carry bullet, you carry gun, and you shot him. You, you expect to go free. You see why the last time I, I told you, I said it, um, I dropped my own message. And I spoke to this channel. I said, um, uh, uh, Pitamba, the governor is not doing it right in Enugu State. Because what pains me most was the raping of the 16 years old girl by five Fulanese in Enugu State. And governor was there. This thing I'm telling you happened in the month of May, if I'm not mistaken, 2024, this year. And I'm not do anything even up to this very day. No investigation. No investigation. Those Fulanese are not even going to book up to this very moment. Even the farmer who intend to rescue that young girl, what happened? The man was shot dead in Enugu State. What did the Pitamba do? Nothing up to this very day. And you say we should fold our hand that should continue. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria should continue killing our children, killing our brothers like that, wasting a, 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 a vibrant youth like that, wasting their lives. And you expect us to be happy, to be clapping hand. You want us to be happy. I want to ask a question, please. I ask everybody. Except you don't have human feelings. Except you are not human being. If Mba at that age of that young boy is killed, would Mba become a governor of Enugu State today? Just the same way they shot this guy. And somebody is expecting me not to vibrate. And you're expecting me not to react. You're expecting me not to talk. You're expecting me to be silent. When my brother is lying on a cold blood, shot by Nigerian police. Shot by Nigerian police. Say so we should keep quiet. No, I can't keep quiet. Lockdown must go. Mba self cannot withstand it. Mba knows. Mba, Governor Mba, Peter Mba knows. He knows. You don't know what it means to lose your beloved ones. You will be asked. There's an adage my people used to say. Ebrozo knows how to do it. When you carry firewood of another person, uh, uh, when you carry another person's dead body, it be like saying now firewood you carry for her. But when they carry the person that relate to you or they carry your own brother, you will know the pains. See, with what is happening now in the south is um, do you think um we can relate it to you know what happened, you know, you, you know what um, started the Black Lives Matters, you know, where Floyd you know was reportedly killed in front of a supermarket, you know, then United States of America. Do you think the way the Nigeria police um um is killing you know the Biafrans um do you think you can relate that to what what is happening there in, um with in America during the Trump regime? Yeah. Yes, and if you watch that 
same contribute immensely lose or loss of Trump in election because the black nations, the black people in America use it against Trump, against Donald Trump. And the target, I could remember that time, the hatred upon the blacks from Mr. President. And that is what is happening in Nigeria today. The hatred they have on every evil man is what is happening. What is the meaning of police? Why did I send police? What do we have police? What is police for? What is the duty of, of police? Is it not to protect life and to protect pro uh, 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 properties? Is it not the duty of police? But now Nigerian police are now taking lives. Especially the life of Igbo people, Igbo man, Igbo youth, their friend youth. And you expect Igbo man like me to be quiet, to be happy, to be clapping hands. Have you? Never. But, but do you not think Peter Amba should be, um, should, should, like, I don't know, with this um, type of um, case, do you not think is that time you order the commissioner of police in um, Enugu to look into this um, matter? You don't need to say this because Mba knows what he's supposed to do. Commissioner of Police by now should have taken action over that. Governor Mba should have taken action over this before now. Why is Simon Akpan reacting? Because he expected uh, Peter Mba to act and nothing happened. He didn't act. That's why he himself decided to rise up to come up with this. If not so, there wouldn't have anything called sit at home by tom coming tomorrow. In Enu on only in Enugu state. Let me see if Mba and Nigerian police think that they are smart. Sorry. Sorry. Because as I'm speaking to you, I'm having pains inside my heart. Okay. said was is emotional as regards this issue. Yes. Uh, it's emotional, it's, it's painful. But um, do you think that um Peter Mba we we want to, you know, go in line with some Ekpa, um, um lockdown for tomorrow. Whether uh, Mba will stop sit at home tomorrow, he himself will even sit at home. He has sat at home before now. Mba has sat at home several occasions in the east. The governor is talking. Mba is Nigerian governor. Simon Akpan is the eastern governor, which Biafra know. And the one I recognize. Are you hearing me? The Nigerian governor, but Simon Akpan is our own governor, the one I know, I recognize. Because if Mba truly the governor, Mba should have stand and defend his people because they send him there to defend them, but he's not defending them. That means he's not worthy, he's not qualified. Well, do you think that Epa is going too far by saying um, he's going to burn down Enugu? You know, no, you know, no, matter, don't, don't. no matter of burning down or what's the a reaction. I understand what you're trying to say that being aggressive, you know, yeah, um, to, yeah, towards this issue. See what happens. The response comes by the response. Tomorrow is sit at home to respect, to, to respect, to give honor to, to, to Biafra Hero, the Ogene boy that died. Then if you, Mr. Governor, decided, Nigerian Governor, decided to do otherwise, uh, which I, don't, I know he will sit at home. If you then to do otherwise, that is when what Simon Akpan say, a kind of, he will burn down. That is when something like that will begin. But if he humble himself and respect himself, there will be no need for that. Because, you know, when you lose your beloved, and you are coming out, you are coming out with anger. I could remember when we lost our beloved brother, the young man selling something there either last year. You know? And the man was, the young boy was murdered in a cold blood at uh, uh, this bus stop, College Road bus stop, Arono. When they organized them, the people of Arono knows that these ones are not, they are not coming in a good mood. See, the Yes, it's gone. Where you will wake up and slaughter Igbo man anyhow and expect to go free just like that.
we are not fowls, neither are we goats. We are human beings, like every other person in the country. But, but, but do you think that if Kitamba, um, you know, really start investigate uh, investigation, do you think at least uh, that will calm down the people of Biafra? That at the same is time, what we have been expecting from, from him. That is what we expected. Had it, look at what happened when some soldiers were killed in one of the seats at home. Uh, no. It, that time, it was the remembrance of the Biafran Falling Heroes, uh, May 29, that they killed about four or five, six uh, soldiers. Are you getting it? Abia State. Look at the road that the governor played. Immediately, the governor came outside. The governor took a step. The governor began to react, to show that he's not in support or neither is he happy over what happened. Are you getting it? Uh, he showed that ah, is a man who love his people. Though on that uh, uh, that time, the people that they killed out of the soldiers, most of them were Igbos anyway. Uh -huh. And look at the step that the military took. They were Igbos, and then they said we are like we must take this step because this people belongs to us. You see that recognition. You see that consign for both parties. Are you getting it? See the both reactions. And uh, so at the end of the day, dialogue came, which the governor even promised either 25 to 20 million to official whosoever that carry out that evil act. Are you getting it? It's an impression. It shows uh, yes, something, a step was made by at least the number one citizen of the state. You understand? Then with the military. And they die everything, they settle it, everything, go and make it. But everybody has seen, both in the military side, both in the governor's side, there was a reaction. But on this one, nothing of such. Because, is it because it's a uniform person that shot to the on uniform, Abby? And for your information, with that your uniform, and that person you call on uniform, is a uniform man to us. So far, he's bearing that name. He has that blood as who? As a Biafran boy, child. It's only it's a uniform. At least, if Umba wants to show that he's really, uh, you know, feel bad about this. At least, yeah. if he talks to um, um, again a family, at least, at least that should count things down. If, 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 if he meets to yes, the family, meet to the family, not just the family, yeah. he will go to the commissioner and talk about the policeman. Why did you shoot him? What prompt to this? Because if they didn't give you gun to start killing people. They give you gun to secure your people. Then you are not using it against them. That uh, uh, one, that police should go jail. Life imprisonment for taking life. Because they're supposed to charge him for murder case. Are you getting it? So all these steps should take place. So that uh, our mind, somebody like me, eh, because it's a very, a very big sad news. A boy of how many years? Are you getting it? It's a sad news. Do you know what that boy will become tomorrow? Do you know how many lives that boy will touch if he still remain alive? Are you getting it? Do you know how many positive lives that the boy would have impacted? Train people impacted positively in their life. But look at the way they cut everything. Both the people that he will, he, he, he will empower, the people he will bless, the people he will favor, the people he will be their own God sent helper. See the way the man just close everything and you expect every Igbo man to be happy or Simon Akpan to be happy. No. So that policeman must serve life imprisonment or serve hanging. If Anyoba engaged himself in so many atrocities against the Biafra land and the Biafra citizens, which lead to the kidnapping of our beloved leader, beloved leader, Mazen Nam De Kano, that led even up to now, he is still in the custody of the DSS. God bless you. My name remains my humble self, Evangel Benjamin Johnson, as a Sinachi, the only Biafran evangelist who speaks the truth and ready to end by the truth, as the word of God stated it. Now listen and listen very carefully. There is one particular thing in my message. I always want parents. Parents should take 
precaution and precautions of over what they are doing because of tomorrow. Because tomorrow has a lot to play in your life, not even today. Now, if Anyoba, when if Anyoba was alive, if Anyoba engaged himself in so many atrocities against the Biafra land and the Biafra citizens, which lead to the kidnapping of our beloved leader, beloved leader, Mazen Nam De Kano, that led even up to now, he is still in the custody of the DSS, which out of the hatred, hatred which Nigerian government had against the Biafra and the Igbos, then you, the Biafra man, allegedly joined them to kidnap your brother. Now, what happened? He died in London. And now you want your dead body to, to be buried in a land that you rejected when you are alive. You want us, the Biafra, that you betrayed to welcome your dead body. But when we are fighting for our freedom, we are standing on the truth. You betrayed us and by betraying our our God, Mazen Namdekano. Is there anything that Mazen Namdekano has done that others have not done in this country and they're still working freely? Even the current president said it in 1997, April 13, that he did not believe in one Nigeria. And nothing happened today is the president of Nigeria. But Mazen Nam the Kano said his own, and he started then the next in Nigeria came after, including you, late Oba. You were among the Kakus, the evil, the enemies of Biafra. Now you want your body to be buried. And know that what you, they are doing, the Easterners are doing, is barbaric. Because the Bible said in the book of Genesis, chapter 46, and Joseph said that when he died, please, when you are going, please take my bone along with you. Meaning that they need to take him to go, and because when Jacob died, Jacob told uh, 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 Joseph that they should take him and bury him in the place where they buried their grandfather, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Are you getting me? Where they were buried, those ones were buried, they should go and bury him, and they buried him. So when Joseph now about to die, he told them, please, when you will be living, take my bone along with you. And that is what is happening in the in Igbo land. An original Igbo man, grown up man, when they die, they don't bury that person. His head doesn't end in, the, in, in a foreign land, in a strange land. That's why any Igbo man, even in America, they will package that person and bring him back to home. It is our culture and it is Babrika. Are you getting it? Then, but to you. So, it, so, 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 it is composite. That is exactly what they are trying to do. To bring his body, dead body, back to his homeland and bury him there. Which is right. But, but, there is but. You know the but. Eh? Because of his character attitude towards our man, our chief, Mazen Namdekano. So we now count him as not just a prodigal son, because if he should be included as a prodigal son, that will take place while he was alive. Then he repented. But now he's dead. So he betrayed us, and we will treat him like unsequenced Christians. Are you getting So they are now pleading to bring his dead body to come and bury. No. He should have thought of it before joining the, 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 the evil practices in Nigeria to kidnap Mazen Namdekano, to place Mazen Namdekano in the place where he is today. He shouldn't have done that. Is, was he the only man in Igbo that had money? Was he the only person uh, that had played? Is he the only person that is in government house. Listen and listen very good. The man in charge of peace, airline, is he not, is he not an Igbo man? It's a Biafra land. It's a Biafra land. Delta State is a Biafra land. 
What is their name? Which name are they answering? Let them explain that name in another language. And let's explain the name in Igbo language. Let's know whether they are Igbo or not. Is a Biafra man. Even all Joseph Kalo you are hearing. Do you know that all Joseph Kalo have uh, airways? But it's not running in Nigeria. Are you getting it? Why not? Uh, then you, you, you we are like, okay, you want to show. Nothing they happen. If nothing happen in your presence, something will happen at your back. And now you are no more. Your wife will go cry, Kaya. Let her go and put her plate very well in the water. So that the gods of the land, the spirit of the people that uh, her husband murdered in the cold blood, supported Nigeria. To kill. You should go and peace them. Let them forgive. If they forgive, that's the only thing that will allow his dead body to be buried in the eastern in, in, in Ibo land. Or else he will end up with the British nonsense. He will die as a dad there, he will be buried there. Nonsense. That is why I'm using this opportunity to warn every parent, especially if you are in Biafran parent. Now that you are alive, retreat your step. Amend your way, consider your ways. Because the day like today, like we find your back is is coming. So that that honor, that respect will be given to you. Egos are not outcasts. We are well respected all over the world. Even the earth that we march respect every Igbo man. Because our head, you know, they end in the strange land. Because we understand the word of God and we follow the Bible. Because what we are doing is Babrika. We follow the Babrika. Though they call it tradition, it's not tradition. It is the culture from the Bible that we follow. And that is what we are practicing. So if you want your own head to be like other uncircumcised, then you join Nigeria to do nonsense against the Igbo people. God bless you. Uh, but, but, but do you not think that, um, but do you not think that, um, um, if I'm about, um, if I'm about, you know, at least, um, did something good for the people of Inewi, like, um, you know, I uh, provide, um, local security for, for them. Do you not think it worked, you know, for, for his people? If I'm about, did not provide security, he provided yes, no, locks. But they were protecting, you know, the Hello, my brother, that he provided talks when he was alive. He has so many thugs around him, parading around in case you don't know the story. When in Gige, him and his brother, Ifan Yoba, and uh, 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 the other uh, uh, um, the two of them, when in Gige was uh, the governor of Panamba State, in Gige lost for three good months as a governor. They called him, they kidnapped him. Are you getting it? Ngige lost also uh, for, for, house, uh, for, for governor's house for three good moons. Who kidnapped him? No, be uh, Yoba and his brother and his family. They organized those boys and empowered them. They are using those boys for their own selfish interests, not for the benefit of the people of the community. So, so don't be deceived. So it has come to tell on the family. And you, as a woman, I'm using this opportunity as well. Please. Please, when you are still alive and you and your husband is alive, anything your husband is doing that is not good, please come out to the book of the man. The book of that man, let everybody know, say you are not in support of the evil. Likewise, you as a man, if your woman you don't say because he uh, uh, open nash for you, uh, because you love her, uh, for that you join to do, do rubbish. Don't do that. Be a man of policy and a man of principle. When the woman do what is wrong, tell her that what she's doing is wrong. Are you hearing me? When the woman is wrong, tell her that she's wrong. When the man is wrong, tell the man that he's wrong. Don't join to do evil. That's the last thing I will do. I will never support my wife when she's going wrong. I will be the last to do that. God knows me. And those that knows me, knows me. I don't support evil. I speak the truth the way it is. I know you may not like it, and I'm not speaking for you to like it, but I know I'm speaking the truth. The earth I'm matching is a witness. The air I breathe is a witness. And the God that I defend, the gospel of Christ in my life, is a witness of what I'm saying. And I say, go and verify. Ask. I don't compromise. And I don't play hanky panky. I speak the raw because I say raw evangelist. God bless you. You know, you know, forgive him at least. Forgive him. Maybe um, the family now have learned their lesson at least.
because of the sake of the children and his generation unborn. Do you not think they should forgive him? That is the area you should consider first. And that is the area that the children should now come up. And uh, I want to use this opportunity to give an idea now. Are you getting it? For the sake of those children, to give an idea, and that idea is let them go and look for some certain elders of the land who are in good time with what is on the ground. Are you getting it? That people can, have, can pay attention to. Are you getting it? Please with those people, make their hand if they can follow them to go and meet them. You get it now. Let them rob mine. Forget your money. Money has a limitation of what you can do. Human being has what he can as well do. So go and look for people that is in line with what is happening so that they will join and plead on your behalf so that they can temper justice with their mercy.